Hello and welcome to another Will the Dragon Eat This? Omidon Scale Billy here saying how's it going? Alright, today's episode we have what we call Maka Kimchi. Maka Kimchi. Which basically is, well, it's, it's the average kimchi you always see, which is the cabbage. Uh, what it is is basically it's a special type of spiced pickling process where they pickle the cabbage, fresh cabbage, you know, chop it up and pickle it and all that, and they, you know, put it in the brine in a pot, and they seal the pot up and they bury it in the ground for sometimes decades, and uh, well. After the uh, after the time of the uh, after a while, you know, pull it up and you know eat it. It's, it's very good. All right, time to try it out. Oh yeah, my kimchi. Mhm. Mm Oh, that looks good. Hmm? Very good. <laughs> um, if you're used to, um, Sriracha sauce. There's kind of that type of a um, bit of a spice to it. Um, if you're not into cabbage, you know, it might not be up your alley, but it's actually very healthy. It's a great pickling brine. It's not like uh, you know, like pickles pickle brine. It's a different type of pickling brine, and it's actually very tasty. You you can get it unspiced, which is very is a clearer brine. Where everything's kind of you know doesn't have a red tinge to it. Um, basically, you can you can get like jars of this stuff. This is a, you know you can get you know and it stay it will stay good for a long period of time. When eating this, best not to take into like um. Uh, no places where where it can it, it'll really make a stink, you know. If for a lot of people are not used to it, so best bet is to you no know, have it for home. You know, it's a really great food, healthy, delicious. Goes well with rice, chicken, beef. You know, it, it's a it's a great it's a great vegetable to add with anything. Um. It's kind of hard to explain uh, the cabbage. It's based, you can explain the uh, the the slight saltiness of the brine and the spice of the brine. It's kind of hard to explain cabbage, but it's it's not a hard crisp. It's it 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 gets very softened up by the brine. So it's 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 kind of like if you um, it's kind of like the same type of process, you know, when you when you kind of uh, soften up uh, spinach, you know becomes a softer you know mushier type of look that's kind of what what happens with the with the uh, mock kimchi and the type of the type of cabbage that they use for it is actually a uh, Korean cabbage you know Chinese cabbage I think I think it's Chinese cabbage but you know what the cabbage is called but you know they grow in Korea and China and all that and it's actually really healthy really delicious and uh, totally worth it so if you want to get something delicious go to your local uh, Asian supermarket and pick some up today you won't regret it alright until next time sayonara <laughs>